KDK First Alert meteorologist Ron Smiley is joining us. You can see Barrel there behind him, yep. and man, it is quite the storm. You can see it even on radar. Yeah, you certainly can, and one of the interesting things, Erica, and unfortunately, even though the track is going to take it, it looks like right on top of Jamaica, still we have places like Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Haiti as well, that are on the outside of those outer brands, so they're still seeing some hurricane force winds at this time. Now, they're not going to take the full brunt of the storm. That's going to be places like Jamaica, uh, the uh, the Turks uh, as well, that are going to be looking at uh, the, the possibility of those strong winds uh, right there kind of moving through. Uh, so we are looking at, you can see it right there, strong Category 5 right now, slowly weakening. And in fact, right now, when we're looking at a satellite image of barrel, we are starting to see some signs that it is weakening. Winds right now still at 160 miles an hour. That puts it at that Category 5, but it should be weakening as it moves into the Gulf and hopefully just a tropical storm as it moves inland. All right, let's talk about our weather here locally. 85 expected high, mostly sunny skies expected today. Uh, here's the uh, forecast uh, 77 your temperature right now. Notice the dew point. Hey, we're not even in the 50s right now. It is very comfortable outside. Winds are gusting to 17 miles an hour, but they're really 5 to 10 miles an hour sustained uh, right now. That's where they should be for the afternoon. Here's those temperatures for you. Most places are still in the 70s. We do have Beaver now at 80 degrees. Hey, the Pirates are back in town later on tonight. 640 is the first pitch taking on the Cardinals, and it's going to be a great night to be out at PNC Park. Comfortable weather, humidity levels on the low side. Those temperatures should be dropping, and hopefully by the time the Buckos are getting a win, we're looking at temperatures down into the 70s by that time for the night. Hey, this is going to be a start of what looks to be, it's going to be a seven-game home home stand or seven day home stand for the Pirates. This is tonight at least probably the most comfortable weather uh, during that home stand that we're going to see. Here's those forecast highs for you today. Uh, most places should be solidly into the 80s. By tomorrow, we're looking at a high of 90 degrees uh, here locally. Rain chances start to come back in. Thursday now is the day that I have some big concerns with uh, 86 year expected high, but thunderstorms will be possible throughout the course of the day. A couple of clouds rolling in from the uh, northwest uh, uh, this afternoon. We do have a chance. This is tomorrow for severe weather tomorrow. It's a level one out of five, and we also have a chance for severe weather on Thursday, 4th of July. It's also a level one out of five. The day that I think we're going to see some changes is going to be the 4th of July. I think that that chance for severe weather is going to lift up through at least Allegheny County down to the south. Here's Wednesday. I know I'm kind of all over the place here. Here's Wednesday. Storms coming in late. We'll have some strong storms around at around 8 or 9 o'clock. As the sun goes down, our chances for severe weather really start to drop. Even in the morning hours, though, we'll still have some storms. Nasty storms expected to move in also. You can see it right there through the day on Thursday. The good news right now, Erica, it does look like by the time fireworks get going on Thursday night, any rain and storm should be out of here. 86 your Thursday high, 87 for Friday.